Okay, so, I say this fight starts off pretty simple with uh, Big showing up first. He does like to buff himself, so you're going to want to debuff him. And get the rest of your team, you know, fully operational. The other big thing of note in this event, or in this fight, is that you, uh, like, you, it's weird. You don't want to go too all in on bigs because he heals the pool once Wedge shows up. Yeah, see, oops. And I did that snow spell. Didn't mean to hit that, actually. Now. Oh, he does actually heal the fool. I thought he did. Well, good to know. So now the... Oh, boy. Biggs, you're just being a real bud, aren't you? Now the fight becomes this sort of careful balance of trying to keep Biggs and Wedge pretty close to each other health-wise. Because uh, you just really don't want Ufa. Uh, you don't want one to be dead and the other one have most of his life. Because, uh, yep, there you go. Short Fuse is a piercing attack, and it just sort of comes out whenever. Uh, however, if you kill one and leave the other one up, then they do Ultimate Short Fuse, which is Short Fuse, but way where oh, uh, There's the moves. There they are. Points at the screen. There's the damage. We found it. Let's get some Curatus out there. Get that bonus health. Yeah, at this point, I'm just trying to kill one of them to lessen the damage that I'm taking. Short fuse be damned. No spell. Yeah, there's ultimate short fuse. Yeah. So where short fuse was single target, ultimate is an AOA. That's that's the danger. Oofa. A little close there. Now, obvious, Lee, I was going for a Sid mission style, the actual correct way to go about that is to bring a dancer that can definitely debuff both of them at the same time, and you're in for a way rougher fight. Also, I got very unlucky and got hit by a Sloya. Yeah. 